Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Manny Antonelli here. Today we're talking about playing different positions at the MLB level and at professional baseball. Um, this question kind of came through my Road to the Show videos. If you guys watch it, um, I'm a second baseman in that game and they have randomly, both teams that I've played on have kind of randomly put me in center field. And a lot of people have been asking, is that normal to just kind of switch positions, to have them kind of try you out at new spots, to move you around? How does that all work? And I have a lot of experience um, as I got into professional baseball of playing multiple positions. So I want to kind of give you guys a little bit of insight into me personally and how I kind of moved around and how those conversations went. But then also give you an idea of, you know, not just me, but everyone else. Does, is this normal for a lot of players? Can a lot of players just kind of move around and play different spots, okay? And so let's go back. I'm going to give you again my kind of experience. And I want you to Keep in mind, moving up through my whole life, I played shortstop pretty much my entire life. So I played shortstop in Little League, I played shortstop in high school, um, and then I went to college, okay? And I went to college as a shortstop. That's what I went, I, I was recruited as a shortstop by pretty much every school that had recruited me. And then I went to college and I got on campus and we had a shortstop named Ben Ingold, who was a very good shortstop. He was a junior, I was a freshman. And, uh, and he was just better than me. He had already played there successfully. And so they moved me to third base. And I actually ended up playing every game of my college career pretty much at third. I went to second for like two games because my arm was really hurting me and they put me at second. But pretty much I became a third baseman in college. Um, so I want to stop right here for a second because this brings up a couple of points. One... You know, we work with a lot of kids. I work with tons of players and you might be, chances are you're probably either a young player or maybe you're a parent of a player. And so keep in mind, everyone, you know, I hear a lot like, oh, my son plays shortstop and that's all he plays. He plays shortstop. Well, a lot of times the shortstop is, you know, the best athlete or the best infielder, right? With the strongest arm, they usually put him at shortstop. Um, and so it really does depend a little bit on what team you play for. So you might always have been a shortstop until that day when you play some play on a team that has an infielder that's better than you. Um, and then you might be going someplace else. And so for one, that's why I always tell players you have to be prepared to to move someplace and be ready, practice multiple positions so that you can go someplace else. Because if you can't, then it's just like, okay, go to the bench. If if we have a better shortstop and you can't go to second or go to third or go to outfield, then, you know, you go to the bench, you won't play. Or if you don't want to, some players are like, no, I'm not going anywhere else. Well, then you're going to go to the bench. You're going to have to go to a new team, okay? So it's really, really important to be able to uh, develop your skill set at multiple spots and don't be so afraid to go practice someplace else. And if someone says, can you practice, can you play somewhere else? Don't be afraid to say, yes, I can, okay? No is not always the right answer. Like I said, you get to a team that has a better player than you at shortstop um, or whatever position it is, well, it's either don't play or go someplace else, okay? And that happens to every player at a different level. For me, it happened in college, right? And luckily for me, I went to third and I did well. And I wasn't like, no, I'm not going to third base. I just went to third. I said, coach, he actually asked me, he said, can you play third base? I said, yeah, I can figure it out. Yep, I'll play. I never really played third base very much at all in my life, but I was like, yep, I can do it. I went over there, I did well, and I played, okay? So there's just a little bit of advice for you. Keep that in mind. Now, I get drafted as a third baseman. Here we go again. I get drafted by the Padres in 2006. Well, in 2005, they drafted Chase Headley out of Tennessee, who was a third baseman, right? Um, my year, I was drafted in the first round at third base. Guess who else was drafted a couple rounds after me at third base? David Freeze. So when we first went to uh, Eugene, Oregon in uh, short season, David and I were on the same team. And so I would play third and he would DH, and then I would DH and he would play third. And we kind of just went back and forth. Well, that's not going to really last forever. Like, that's not a great development plan for a player. And so Padres had to make a couple decisions. What are we going to do with these guys? So what did they do with me? They said, okay, I, we think he can play second base. So they moved me to second base. And then I played second for my entire minor league career with the Padres. And then I made the major leagues and I played second base at the major league level. Okay. Dave Freeze, what happened to him? We ended, up, we ended up trading him for Jim Edmonds, I think. And then he went on and obviously had a great career, and he just retired recently. Um, Chase Headley ended up being kind of the third baseman for the Padres. And he actually, we're going to tell this story in a second, went out and practiced outfield and actually played a little bit in the outfield for the Padres because we had Kevin Kuzminov at third base. Okay, so 
Um, I played second, right? So now I've got to learn a new position. I've got to go to like instructional league and I'm trying to figure out how to play second base. Didn't really play it very much. And a lot of people might think like, oh, it's just another infield position. They're all very different, all right? So it takes a little bit of time to learn how to play second base, all right? So I did that. Then in 2008, right before I made my major league debut, I made it in September. In January, um, and actually somebody sent this over to me, hi neighbor from, uh, from YouTube, sent this over to me and I actually kind of forgot about this, but I was actually moved over to, well, moved out to the outfield for a little bit. And uh, the Padres had Chase Headley and I, they brought us out in the off season. It was in January. They brought us out and uh, Bud Black said, Hey, we want to get you some work in, in the outfield. See if you can play the outfield, right? Never play the outfield in my life. So we went out there. We took a ton of fly balls at Petco. Uh, they work with us, work with us every day for about a week. And so again, I'm just trying to learn another position. I'm trying to become more versatile because honestly, when you get to that level, right, there's only so many second basemen, right? There's only, you know, there's not a lot of second basemen in the big leagues. You have your starters for each team and you might have a guy on the bench that can play second, but usually that guy can be a utility player and play all over the place. So if you want to play at the major leagues, you definitely can't be like, no, I play second and that's it. Well, they're going to go find somebody else. Okay. And so I learned, I tried to learn outfield. Wasn't great at it, but I tried to learn it. Okay. Must have not have went well because they never really played me out there at all in any games. I never played a minor league game with the Padres in the outfield. I went right back to second base, and that's where I made my debut. Well, then I get sent over to the Nationals, okay? I become a free agent. I sign with the Nationals, and the first thing they say to me is, hey, we want to make you a utility player. They didn't say this before I got there. They said this once I got there. They said, we want to make you a utility player. So now I've got to practice second and short and third and outfield. All right. And so I played all those positions during that year with the Nationals. I played mostly second and third, but I played a decent amount of short and I played a little bit outfield. And it's very difficult. Okay. Please keep this in mind. I know a lot of people, I talk to people all the time, like, why don't they just move them to this spot? Why don't they just move them to that spot? It is very tough to be a utility player at the major league level. Um, I, I mean, I wasn't a great defender, so, you know, maybe there are some players out there that are great defenders and they have a little bit easier time to move around, but it was difficult for me, okay? Plus, one, I was kind of big. I was like 210, 215 pounds, and I'm not really a shortstop build. Um, but two, it's just you. every position requires di a little bit of different technique, and, uh, and just it was hard for me to pick it up. I would do second. Like, I was better if I could just practice second all the time. I could figure it out, okay, I got all my double play feeds and stuff, okay, I got that. I'm never gonna be a great defender, but I'll be okay. But then if I have to go to short, if I have to go second one game and then go to short the next game and then go to third the next game, like for me, that's really hard. And there's only a few people in the world that I think can do that well. And that's why you'll see some players that are either on big league teams that can't hit to save their life, but they can play multiple positions or they get paid a ton of money because they can play multiple positions and then they can hit okay, okay? It's hard to find those guys. So I know a lot of people say it's, it should be easy, just move them around. It's not that easy. I'm telling you from uh, not only my perspective, but I've been around other players that struggle to do it too. Lots of players that struggle to do it, okay? So um, I do that with the Nationals and then I kind of get labeled as a utility player, kind of get labeled as a shitty utility player, okay? Because I'm not that great. I can't play short. Short's the spot you got to be able to play. Because short's really tough to play in the big leagues. If you can play short at the big leagues, it's probably a little easier for you to play second and third. Um, for me, I could play second and third, all right, all right. I couldn't play short. And so I think that probably hurt me when I became a utility player because, you know, I'm a utility player that can't, isn't really that versatile. Like, I couldn't really play short. And when they put me in the outfield, sometimes it was like, you know, put a, put a tent over that circus, right? It got a little bit ugly out there at times also. So, um... That's what I kind of did throughout the end of my career. And I also actually played first. I kind of knew my career was over when two things happened. One, when I showed up one day and I saw a three next to my name and I'm like, first, I don't even know how to play first. I've never played it in my life. I was in AAA with the Orioles. And uh, our uh, manager, Ron Johnson said, hey, he's like, you've played first before. And I was like, no, I have never played first. I said, but I will play first. I'll play it to the best of my ability. And uh, I actually kind of screwed up a little bit over there. Not terrible, but uh, didn't make an error, but just wasn't great with the stretch sometimes. So um, so I did that. And then I really knew my career was over when I went over to Cleveland in 2013. I've told you guys this story before, and they called me into the manager's office. I thought I was getting released. And our manager was like, hey, you ever caught before? And I was like, thinking in my head, like, no, not really. Not since I was like 10 or 11 in Little League. And I was like, yeah, I've been, I can catch. And he's like, great. 
you're the emergency catcher tonight because I think Jan Gomes and Perez both got called up on the same day. It was like two of our catchers went up on the same day. I can't remember exactly who it was, but we didn't have a catcher. We didn't have a backup catcher. And so I was the backup catcher. I had to catch both pens. And if our catcher got hurt, I was going in. That's what they told me. They said you were going in. I'm assuming they would have just been like, okay, we forfeit. Game is over. We are not putting him behind a plate because uh, I would have probably got the umpire killed. Maybe the umpire would have just walked out and, and called the game. Um, but that's when I knew my career was over. And shortly after that, I was released and never played again. Okay. Um, so that is kind of how my road to different positions went. And um, hopefully that gives you a little bit of unique perspective behind it. Definitely not an easy thing to do. Definitely not something that just anyone, oh yeah, you go ahead, go ahead and play out there in center field. Or why don't you go to shortstop? Like in little league, yeah, you can probably get away with it. And, and when you're younger, but when you're in the big leagues and you can't make very many errors, and not only can you not make errors, but like you've got to make, you've just got to, be able to make not only routine plays, but you've got to make the difficult play kind of look routine also, at least most of the guys at that level do. And a lot of them make it look much easier than than it really is. So let me know if you guys have any comments or questions in the uh, comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.